G'day all. Uh, so I've been busy sort of doing the back parts of this um, layout build. Uh, and basically this is uh, the current mock-up. What I've done is all of this has been put down properly and I've measured it and layered it and um, I got all of the um, ups and downs out of it, got the lineups perfect. Um, the room has a slight dip in it, um, which meant that this board had to come up six mil, believe it or not. So that's the, uh, that's the, um, the floor anyway. Um, that's a lesson learned. So this is um, basically a generic layout um, for Glenn's ultra modern rolling stock. Um, and uh, so let me talk you through basically what we're doing here. So from this end, uh, the up end is that end. Um, that's always the down. Um, so some easy beats, uh, overpass, modern overpass to do the job. Um, this should be, um, they're the main and the crossing loop. And then this is the siding for the, um, silos so the silo convex is pretty much what i've seen in the rough area and you usually have three four large silos and this is a standard i've got a smaller one with just uh four um silo sections not the not these or that um and that'll sort of sit in there and it gives you the look through effect that you should have so between these two, there'll be a conveyor belt that goes up to there and up to all of these as well. Um, oh, none of this has obviously been laid down at this point in time. This pile of cutouts here is just a um, bulk representation of where a pub would go. Uh, so you, know, you can have um, grain trucks coming in, going out. Um, obviously, you could put a gate and a fence and all that sort of thing. I'll probably cut this back to about there. So I don't really think we need to have too much uh, there. Um, so uh, this gives a better effect. And of course, up the top here, um, I'll have the uh, Valance come out as well. So that won't be a problem. Uh, these are just stand in so that you know roughly the size and shape and sort of thing. Um, the yard, most of the yards, um, the good shed's gone, but it's just a representation of where the footprint would be. So I would just do the concrete base of that. Um, same deal here for say a crane or something like that. And again, I've just seen the concrete bases and all the cranes still there, but you know, obviously not used. Um, and then that would be the platform there. Uh, gotta be careful. I don't wanna have any um, light hitting the uh, station building which then puts a, a shadow on the back of the backdrop so maybe some uh, judicious placement of trees and such would do that um, this uh, section here is just a stand in as well um, I'll cut these off and we'll probably put a curved bridge obviously in there uh, and then the river will be down to that point there but I, again I think it needs to come sort of you know the cutout needs to be slow and gentle to the bottom and then come back up. Um, but there's a there's a nice curved bridge I've looked at and I thought, well, yeah, well, um, we'll probably use some of that. Um, yeah, so that sort of gives you an overview of what it'll be. I've, um, so most of this work was sort of getting master, most of the hardcore uh, woodwork done. Everything else is gonna be a bit less than that. Um, I'll have um, a board that'll go to the back there and another board over on the other end of there that will um, go back to the fiddle yard. So all three boards um, are 22.5 or 22, point, 22 foot 6 inches long in total. Uh, and at the back here, you'll see I've done all of these cutouts. So this just reduces weight. Um, and uh, yeah, it just sort of makes life a little bit easier um, when moving it around. I probably only took about oh, 15 kilos out of total because um, obviously I took some out of the base here as well. Um, yeah, but 
every little bit counts, I guess. Um, yeah, so I mean, you can sort of see that's the sort of effect I want to go through that sort of, um, you know, uh, peekaboo type effect there. So, um, so yeah, anyway, um, we haven't, haven't given it a name yet. I uh, don't have a, a name for the pub or anything like that. We'll just uh, keep on keeping on, but um, there you go. Uh, generic um, ultra modern layout. Cheers.